In this screencast, I will demonstrate how to make a sunburst and apply it to a logo. Lately, I've been seeing sunbursts everywhere, from TV advertisements to logos to wallpapers. I'll take a stab at it and see what I come up with, and I'll bring you along for the ride. So let's begin the tutorial. Okay, the first thing I'm going to do is grab our rectangle tool, and we'll draw a rectangle. Oops, delete that there. <clears throat> And I'll true this up a little bit. I'll make this about 475 wide by about 420 high. And I'm using Tango Colors. I'm using a light gray uh, stroke. And having that selected, I'm going to go to our Fill and Stroke dialog. <clears throat> Excuse me. And I'm going to copy this light red color and I'm going to select our dark red. We'll make that a linear gradient. We'll go to edit and for the transparent one I'll just pop in that light red text there. Or I'm not our, our uh, light red color. Okay that gives us our gradient and I'm going to adjust this. We're going to go dark to the top, light to the bottom. There we go. Okay that gives us a nice gradient. Next thing I'm going to do is we're going to draw some silhouette skyscrapers to stick in here. So I'll select our Bezier tool <clears throat> and holding the control key down to keep this straight, I'll just draw up and draw over. And this is just basically a series of lines. Draw anything you want here. And we'll bring this down and we'll connect that together. Okay, we'll take this now and we'll give it a dark shade for a fill and we'll remove the stroke. I'll push this up here for now and we'll zoom in on this. Okay and I'm going to try to just squeeze that down to the corner. Close enough is good enough and we'll pull this over to the left and we'll grab this node We'll push it down. Looks pretty good. And that looks good. We'll zoom out just a little bit. And that's supposed to look like skyscrapers. I hope it does. Now what I'm going to do is zoom out. And we're going to slide this over for now. Next, I'll just zoom in on this page. And I'm going to pull down some guides. We're going to put some crosshairs right in the middle of our page. So I'll pull down a horizontal guide. Come over here, left click, and we'll pull down or pull over a vertical guide. I'll select our circle tool, holding the control key down to keep it perfectly round. And I am going to give this a stroke. We'll turn that into about a two pixel stroke and we'll remove the fill. Now what I'm going to do is go up to File, Document Properties, Snap, and we're going to turn on Snap Points to Guides. Okay, when we do that, we can get the center point of this circle to snap to the crosshairs here. Now I'm going to make this circle a little bit bigger. We do that by holding the control and the shift key down and grabbing one of our handles. We'll just bump that up just a little bit bigger. <clears throat> and I'm going to select our star polygon icon. I'm going to make sure that I have three corners and a polygon box checked. Holding the control key down 
I'm going to slide that over about like so. We'll give it a light yellow fill and I'm going to remove the stroke and we're going to turn this into a path. Okay, we'll select our triangle, our circle, go to our line and distribute, we'll do last selected and we'll put that right in the middle. Now, I just want to make sure that that's to the center like it is. Okay, it is. Make this just a little bit bigger. Now I'm going to select our triangle. We'll select our node button. And we're going to select that top node, holding the shift key down. And I'm going to down arrow. And I'm just going to count how many times I hit the down arrow so we can keep both sides of the, of the triangle uh, symmetrical. So I'll do 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. We'll do 9 from the bottom. Again, it's shift, up arrow. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And one more to grow. And we'll do them there. There we go. Now what I'm going to do is select the triangle. And we're going to make it a gradient. We'll do a linear gradient. And I'm going to reverse the gradient. Put that there. And we'll put that in the center. That way it'll fade out. Okay, and that's our first sunbeam, I guess. I'll select both of these. I'll group it together. Now what I'm going to do, let me just slide this over for a little bit. And uh, I'm going to select our Edit, Clone, Create Tile Clones. Now, beforehand, I've kind of set this up. And I'm going to try to go 11. I'm going to try to uh, pattern this circle. Uh, with this uh, sunbeam 11 times around here so I get like a half. I'm going to use simple translation for shift I'm going to do a negative 100 percent here and I'm going to do a negative 100 percent in this column for rotation we'll do 18 degrees both uh, for row and column. Okay I'll select this and we'll just see what happens and that looks pretty good. And basically, that's how you make a sunburst. Now we can take that all the way around. We do that just by selecting a few more numbers in our clone dialog box. So I'm going to go ahead and select both of these, ungroup it. I'm going to do it again. I'll select the circle and we're going to delete 10 of these. Remember, we just have items right on top of each other. I'll undo that last one. Okay, now what I'm going to do is go to View, and we're going to turn off our guides. We don't need them anymore. And I'm going to take this circle, and I'm going to bump that down. About like that. Actually, let me reverse this here. I want to keep that centered. So I'm going to put that circle back. And what I'm going to do is just duplicate that. Oops, I didn't get it. Let me right click on it, duplicate. Make this one a little bit smaller. A little bit smaller yet. There we go. And I'm going to take this circle, turn it yellow, and I'm going to remove the stroke. Okay. I'm going to take that circle, hold our shift key down, select our larger circle. And I'll put that right in the center. And I'm going to take this dark circle now, the yellow, and I'm going to make a gradient. Just a little bit bigger. There we go. That'll kind of clean up the center of uh, where these points come together. I'll delete that circle and I'll just take all this and group it together. Okay, 
this is our sunburst and that's pretty much what we were going to do for this tutorial okay so now I'm going to take these buildings make sure it's to the top of our uh, Z order I'm going to select our sunburst I'll select this square and I'm going to move this down just a little bit there we go okay now I'm going to zoom in on this so you guys can see it I'm going to right click on the square and duplicate it I'm going to select this sunburst and I'm going to do an object clip set okay that'll cut away some of the sunburst that's outside of this square okay now that you can see that we also have some sunburst into our stroke so what I'm going to do is just push that in just a little bit there we go and that gives us a nice sunburst so now what I'm going to do actually I'm going to make this just a little bit bigger on this side there we go now what I'm going to do is just group this together so it doesn't move on us let me zoom out here and let's put this back on our page we'll select page here and put that in the middle <clears throat> okay now to to finish this off let's let's put some text on this so we'll go to our text tool and since I've got a red sky let's call this red sky incorporated it's a nice company name and leaving it selected we'll go to our text dialog and I'm gonna find some some script text we'll do scriptina and we're gonna clean this up just a little bit I'm gonna double click on the text get in front of the S here I'm gonna hold the alt key and the arrow key down and I'm just gonna bump this down just a little bit kinda of out of the way there we'll get in front of the comma move the comma out now we'll move it up and I'm just adjusting the kerning here again the other side of the comma and we'll pull in the incorporated text about like so just a little higher there okay I think that looks pretty good now I'm gonna take this text we'll convert it to a path and I'm gonna give it an outset okay that looks pretty good I'm gonna have to make this just a little bit smaller okay and I'll select our text select our outside square do last selected and put that vertically there I'm gonna select um, this bit here we're gonna ungroup this and I'm gonna select our silhouette we'll select our nodes and I'm gonna get this out of the way here we'll do a shift on these two and just pull this down there we go I'm also going to get these two here. Pull that down just a little bit, just to get that out of the way. Okay, we'll take our text, make it white, and zoom back in on this. And that is our logo with our sunburst. Now you can use a sunburst in about a number of different ways but uh, I thought this would be a, a good explanation or a good example I guess of uh, showing you how to use a sunburst just to kinda you know tie in the background here so thank you for watching I'm HeathenX